10 terrifying insects and arachnids in Texas. Number 10, Vinegaroon. Found creeping around central and western Texas, this alien-looking creepy crawly is the Vinegaroon, or sometimes known as the Whip Scorpion. So while they are classified as non-venomous, they have the ability to spray out a nasty substance that is 85% vinegar or acetic acid, hence their name. The type of Vinegaroon that is located in Texas is practically all black, making it look even more affronting. But who are we kidding? Even if this thing was pink, you wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Other than that they aren't seen very often because they are nocturnal and have poor vision, but they stay away by sensing the vibrations given off when prey and predator is near. If you do end up catching one, which isn't recommended, just be gentle with it so you don't get yourself sprayed and you don't harm it by accident. 9. Black Widow No, no, we're not talking about Scarlett Johansson today. Here we have one of the most infamous spiders ever. We've all heard about how the female eats the male after mating. What might be news to you is that this usually only happens in laboratory cages where the males have nowhere to escape to. In the wild, they actually make sure to check if the lady they want to meet is already eaten by checking the chemicals on her web to avoid a painful ending. The most famous species, there are about 30, is the Southern Black Widow, which loves to make its home in Texas. These are pretty small, at only about 1.5 inches in length, but they're still deadly. The females are easily recognized by bright red marks on their bodies. These tend to have the rough shape of an hourglass, although they can be seen in a variety of patterns. Only the female's bite is dangerous to humans, and symptoms include severe muscle cramps, spasms, intense pain, and tachycardia, although it's generally not fatal to a healthy adult. Viewer Comment Time on our video, 10 Most Powerful Guard Dogs, viewer and hopefully subscriber Jojo said that they would rather live with dogs than most people they know. We know that feeling, Jojo. Animals can be so much better than people a lot of the time. There are even people that would make you rather hang out with a vinegaroon than with them. 8. Brown Recluse Spider You wouldn't think a violin can be a bad sign. But these creepy crawlies give it a bad name. Recluse spiders are also known as fiddlebacks because they have distinctive marks on their abdomens which are shaped remarkably similar to the body of a violin. They come in several different types, the spiders do, but the one that Texans know and dread the most are the notorious brown recluse spiders. They are tiny and very difficult to notice, and if they bite, you're in for torture. An itch or a sting is often the only warning sign and most people would probably dismiss it. But then comes the hellish pain, fever with chills, and in the end, the spot where you were bitten erupts into an ulcerating lesion full of the spider's venom and corrupted blood. To make it all worse, the brown recluse is such a plain and unassuming shade of brown that spotting it in time requires paranoia-level vigilance. 7. La Cucaracha Did you know if you cut off a cockroach's head, it won't always kill them? They can live and function perfectly fine without one, even take care of their moisture intake and what they usually die from is starvation. Since they're so spread out all over the world, of course they made it into Texas as well. They settled in and now they are as much a part of Texas people's lives as the sky or the changing of the seasons. There are several varieties including the American cockroach and German cockroach and their ideal habitat is the Texas Gulf Coast. What makes them truly alarming though is that they look for exactly the same kind of habitats that we humans like to settle in. Our homes provide them all the food, water, shelter, darkness, and dirt they need to thrive, and they have a habit of making their population explode overnight. Though hardly any of the Texas roaches are venomous, they all bite, and some people are allergic to them, not to mention all the diseases they carry. Also, some fly. Some are just big flying jerks that seem to take pleasure in chasing you around the house while you scream bloody murder. 6. The Lichen Orb Weaver Another spider for our list, we're starting to understand those poor people who are struggling with arachnophobia. For those of you who don't know, that's a manic fear of spiders, and they really do a whole lot to justify it. The Lichen Orb Weaver is a fairly large spider when compared with your common garden critters, it's about the size of a walnut and about as heavy as a tarantula. 
The orb weavers spin those standard spider webs you see everywhere, which are roughly circular, with spokes radiating out from a central hub. Sticky threads spiral around these spokes, making a distinctive wheel pattern. What makes these spiders stick out, though, is their masterful disguise. They wear a creepily accurate pattern that makes them look exactly like ordinary lichen which grows on trees all over the world. Luckily for some, and not so much for others, they love to spin their little webs of ambush in Texas territory. They have the rude habit of spinning webs across walkways, and from experience, getting a face full of web while walking out of your house is never fun. 5. Blister Beetles These fiery little critters look pretty fierce on camera, and let us tell you, they can easily deliver on that. Blister beetles get their name from what they do. Their bodies contain a powerful toxin called cantharidin, which causes the skin of their victim to erupt in painful and itchy blisters. What's even worse, they love to randomly land in animal feet, especially in food meant for horses, and if the animal eats food infested with blister beetles, it grows horribly sick and is likely to die. If you see one or more on your haystack or somewhere, put on a pair of gloves before you decide to handle them. Over 100 species of them occur in Texas, and one of the most common ones is the black blister beetle found in East and Central Texas. They come in all colors and sizes though, 3 eighths of an inch to 1 inch long, solid gray, black, or with paler wing margins, metallic, yellowish, striped, or spotted. 4. Daddy Long Legs Why anyone would want to name these creeps after a benevolent novel character is beyond us. Alternatively, they are known as the Harvest Men, and they love to hurriedly hamper around hill country. They are completely harmless to humans, with the exception of a heart attack that the sudden sight of them might give you. Imagine being on a picnic and this horde scuttering over your blanket. There are 37 families of them around the world and 18 species reported in Texas so far. There are some interesting myths attached to them, too. Back in the old days, it was believed that a daddy long legs could find lost cattle. You picked it up by seven of its eight legs, the free leg would point in the direction of the wayward cattle. Another myth was that if you killed a daddy long legs, it would rain the next day. Has anyone else had a run in with a nest of daddy long legs or a beastly flying cockroach out to get you? Let us know in the comment section below, and your creature encounter could be shared in a future video. 3. Gigantic Centipedes As if all the spiders, snakes, and scorpions weren't bad enough to give you nightmares, there is one particularly creepy critter that nobody thinks to warn you about when you go visiting this state, the infamous Texas Red-Headed Centipede. It is also called the Giant Desert Centipede, and some other nasty things which people tend to shout at the top of their lungs on their first date with this monster. They are giants, six and a half inches at average, but they're known to grow to nine or even 12 inches long. Cherry on the cake, they're venomous and ravenous. Their venom is more or less mild. A bite will cause a sharp, painful sting, which is sometimes accompanied by swelling, but it usually goes away after a few hours. Occasionally, though, someone has an acute reaction featuring minor skin necrosis, dizziness, nausea, and headaches. A few heart attacks were also reported. To make it all the worse, these guys hunt things way larger than themselves. Lizards, toads, snakes, even rodents. Luckily, they don't have a taste for humans, but they do bite and inject their toxins in defense when you try to get them off your property. 2. Rat-Tailed Maggots a mix of rats and maggots in one tiny, squirmy, slimy creature. Good luck keeping your lunch down. These disgusting critters are actually larvae, which means that all they do is eat and grow until they have developed into yet another creepy, nasty kind of creature. They are larvae of a certain species of hoverflies, and you can find them in Texas, Australia, and the Philippines, among other places. The infamous rat tail at their ends is actually a snorkel. It's an organ which resembles a telescope, a tube consisting of three segments which they use to breathe while they're underwater. It's about as long as the maggot's body, meaning around 20 millimeters when mature. That's not so big, but don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet. They can extend their snorkels, you see, all the way to 15 centimeters. They love stagnant, polluted environments and happily thrive in cesspools and sewage lagoons. Some folks actually make a business of them and breed them as fishing bait. Number 1. Cicadas 
Did anyone else know that some cicadas can grow to this enormous size or that they can live up to 17 years? This particular picture came from Borneo, but distance is nothing to cicadas and there are 1,300 species known around the world. Most Texans are familiar with the hum or rather incessant but rhythmic screeching of the cicada. They do this to avoid predators and attract mates. It will bring you no harm and only feed by sucking the sap and juices from plants. So while their literal bug-eyed faces might give you a fright, it's best to just leave them be. Which brings us to part two, the black and yellow cicada killer, fierce wasp that hunts these noisy but harmless critters. The female wasp will sting and paralyze the defenseless cicada and carry it home to lay eggs underneath it. The eggs will then hatch and begin to eat the cicada alive. So if you look up and see a giant wasp carrying a cicada, it's not just taking it for a fun ride. Well, on that terrifying note, we can wrap this up by suggesting another video that might interest you if you want to move on to even bigger and scarier creatures. Coming up next is 10 terrifying snakes that actually exist. Number 1. Road Rage Revenge The last tale in this video of creatures who are all tales takes us to the Indonesian island of Sumatra, where a snake got eaten for blocking traffic and arguing about it. Robert Nababan, 37 years old, was driving around the Riau province on his moped when he came across the strangest roadblock you could...